Hello, my name is Stephen Wright. I'm a career coach here at Career Mentor, and we help high performing financial services professionals make their next smart career move. As you conduct your job search campaign, not only will you be up against candidates from the rest of the market, but there may well be an internal candidate as well. So how do you handle that, especially that the internal candidate will have an at-home advantage? I think there's a number of things to consider. Let's go through them. The first point to make is it's unlikely that the firm you're interviewing with will volunteer information about this, but I think it's fine and perfectly legitimate to ask them if they are considering an internal candidate. Of course, bear in mind that they may well introduce the internal candidate later on in that process, so perhaps it might be wise to ask that question a number of times. There are a number of advantages and disadvantages that work for and against the internal candidate. On the plus side, they are a known quantity and many hiring managers are quite risk averse. So hiring somebody that they know may be a way of reducing the perceived risk. Also, the internal candidate will be well networked with the people within the firm, understand the procedures and the systems, and that certainly does give them a strong advantage. The final point that I'd raise here when we're looking at the plus side is that the firm may want to be able to demonstrate that there is career progression, that they do make promotions, that they do move people on to better jobs. So if they hire the internal candidate, that will be a great way of demonstrating that to the rest of the workforce. There are, however, some downsides. The downside for the internal candidate is that they simply may not have the skills and experience that is, is required for this job. And furthermore, there may be what I call career inertia, meaning if that candidate is doing a fantastic job in the position that they're at at the moment, the management team may be reluctant to move them on. After all, if they're doing a really great job, why change things that are working well? So it's important that you play to your advantages during the interview process. Let's look at what those might be. The first thing to say is that any enterprise absolutely must innovate. And there are thousands of case studies of how bringing in new people with new voices and fresh perspectives and new skills will help an enterprise move forward and keep itself fresh and innovating. The second point, perhaps a lesser point, is that you may well bring with you the cachet and reflected glory of the brand name firm that you're working for. Point number three is that you may well have what I call asymmetric value, meaning that you have capabilities which are fairly commonplace in your current job, but which the firm that you're going to doesn't have those or they're pretty rare on the ground. So you bring with you that asymmetric value. In fact, you bring with you a value that they not only want, but absolutely have to have. And that may well extend itself into other things that you bring too. So for example, you may bring with you a client base in Europe, um, in a particular region in Europe, where the firm that you want to join has absolutely no exposure. So playing to your advantages will help you position yourself well. Obviously, you want to do deep research into that firm and know as well as you can, at least as well as you can from an outsider's perspective. The final thing I'd say is it's great if you can move the conversation in the interview forward into the future. That way, it will underpin the future-looking, forward-looking narrative of freshness and future achievement of results that you want to be associated with in the minds of the interview team. I hope you found that useful. I'll be putting the link to the blog that I wrote about this in the comments below. And thanks very much.